Timmy, one of our fine viewers suggested we do a reaction video, whatever that is. So thanks for the suggestion, Booty Slap 420. Sounds fun, Mr. Corporate. Well, we'll see about that. Let's get this over with. So Netflix finally rolled out their plan on how they're gonna deal with people sharing passwords. Now, normally anyone with hair like that, I'd turn it off right away, but I'll allow it for now. Which, by the way, was a big push for them to raise their prices a couple years ago. You can do it on up to four devices, right? You can stream simultaneously on four devices, but not like, but only in one home. Only in one home. And the thing is, honestly, this like pisses me the fuck off. Like my sister has been paying for that password for fucking years, right? But more importantly, I've been thinking about it more and more. Like, do these morons on Wall Street, these dudes who all they do is write financial statements for fucking shareholders not understand bread and fucking circuses? Wow, we bread and circuses? Sign me up. Do they not understand bread and circuses? You know, the only thing that keeps people from realizing how everything's going to fucking shit right now is the fact that they can turn on their TV at home and watch something to distract them while they shovel fucking high fructose corn syrup into their fucking faces. We don't have a TV. Once the high fructose corn syrup is too fucking expensive to buy and you can't turn on your fucking TV and watch shit, you know what happens when people start doing? They start looking for other ways to fucking pass their time. Maybe they start fucking clicking on hyperlinks on Wikipedia. Maybe they start fucking looking at the tax brackets and the way things are fucking run in this country. Maybe they start looking at campaign fucking finance reform and how that shit went out the fucking window back in 2008 with the Citizens United decision. Oh, there's no reason to look into campaign finance reform. Why not? Supply and demand. If there's an attempt to cut down on political action committee donations, it'll make things far more expensive for me to purchase these politicians. I see. They start putting two and two together. Before they know it, they start thinking, why the fuck am I even going to my goddamn job? I can't afford to fucking watch TV anymore. I can't afford to fucking eat anything that feels fucking good. And I can't even afford a fucking place to live anymore. Now he's speaking my language. But no, no, let's just make sure that fucking Wall Street can afford another fucking boat or a helicopter ride. There we go. Now he's speaking my language. I don't think he's on your side. Oh. You might have missed it. It was very subtle. Or fly down to an island where they can fucking hunt people all day. Have you ever hunted people, Mr. C? Mm, no comment. Because that's the only thing they fucking care about. Are our shareholders going to make money? And I know, I know this is all because of some bullshit that was written in the 80s through some fucking economic theorems that ended up making it seem like things were getting better for a bit of time. But then, but then a fucking pandemic hit and we've shrunk our workforce to a degree that now the Federal Reserve's sole fucking goal is to make sure that everyone's wages decrease in the middle of an inflationary fucking period. Correction, the sole purpose is to make the workforce so small we can drown it in a bathtub. And all they've been saying over and over again is we're going to keep raising rates until these fucking wages come down. Motherfucker, the wages don't need to come down. The fucking prices need to come down. The prices are going the fuck up and they're charging us more for less. I just been buying fucking boxes of Tasty Cakes so I fucking feel good. Wow, they come in boxes? If you've got the $8, yes. A box of butterscotch crippets used to have 8 Fucking butterscotch crimpets in it. The box is the same size. It's now six butterscotch crimpets. And it's fucking four dollars more than it used to be. How the fuck do you not expect us to be in the streets next year? I'm just fucking asking you idiots, all right? So while you're fucking sitting there writing a check for your next fucking boat. I do love boats. Maybe pick a fucking wall, okay? Pick the last fucking wall you want to see. Well, I certainly have to disagree with everything this rage-fueled hippie has to say. But the rage-fueled hippie wasn't wrong about any of that. The system is broken. Well, it's not broken, Timmy. The system is functioning exactly as it was designed. Rich people keep buying all the politicians. You own all the land. You control everything in people's lives. The only thing keeping people from losing their minds is entertainment, and now they're going to take that away, too. The whole thing is completely fucked. You guys fighting over scraps. There's no need to put rich people up against a wall, Timmy. Use your words to negotiate over the scraps. That last part was metaphorical. See, it was metaphorical. 